Let's take a look at the at an, uh, user interface. First, on top row here we have <coughs> handy buttons like save, load, undo, redo, and some others like quits. On the left side here we have the toolbar, which is a list of all of the components that we can create. In the top left corner here we can select which list of the components is active and the rest of the window is uh, dedicated for the work area. In order to create a component we can simply just drag it on the toolkit or alternatively we can click on an item in the toolkit and then click again in the work area to create the objects. To connect these we can click on a on a pin in a component and then click on another component pin to create the wire. Alternatively, we can simply drag from one pin to another. At this point, this uh, circuit is completely active and we can, for example, click on this button to light up the LED. We can clean up the wires by going to the center of the wire and, and dragging to create another pin and thus we can create these handy 90 degree angles. We can still drag all the components around and as you can see the simulation is running at the same time. To delete an object we can click on it to give it focus and then press the delete key. And we have unlimited undo as well. To clone an object, we can control drag it to create another copy, which helps us to avoid looking through the toolkit all the time. As the design grows bigger, we can pan around by dra dragging the work area or zoom in and out using the mouse wheel. This is basically all we need to do to work with Athena. See you next time.